Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. This is Lauren from laurenslipstick.com, of course, and today I'm going to show you my spot covering routine that I like to do um, to cover up any spots, blemishes, acne, whatever, on the face. So I hope that you enjoy this and that you find it helpful. Um, there's really no right or wrong way, but just uh, I'll incorporate some tips that I think really work better than other things. So stay tuned if you want to learn something about covering your zits. Okay, so I kind of went back and forth about what kind of concealer to use for this because a lot of times I think like even a tinted moisturizer or something less full coverage actually works better. But I thought, you know, if it wasn't just like a spot here, there and random and if it, if it was, if I was, if I had a lot of acne, would probably still lean towards the full coverage very light application, not really cakey, because that can kind of make the bumps and ridges really defined, and we don't want that. But I still think sometimes a full coverage foundation is called for, just because there may be a lot of redness or discoloration and that sort of thing. So I got this sample for the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation, and it's oil-free. So this would be a good full coverage foundation for those of you that have a lot of acne or just um, blemishes, maybe even like rosacea or something like that. So um, I've tried this a couple times, and I really like it. This I got, I bought a bunch of stuff from Ulta, and since my order was like over $50 or something, they sent me a Too Faced goodie bag, and this was one of the items that that included. So pretty cool. Um, and I really like it because it's got this little pump and I think probably the bigger bottle, full size bottle probably has that too, but that is so nice. I hate it when I have to like pour out and make a huge mess of my foundation. So, um, I'm going to apply this using my Kabuki brush like I normally do and I'm just going to squirt one pump onto my hand. And like I said, I really don't think that using a thick layer of foundation is the way to go with acne. So I'm just gonna pat this around my face and then I'll blend it out. And as you can tell, this already really evens out the skin tone, which it's pretty amazing. I really like this foundation so far. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you. And there you go. Um, you can still kind of see some of my spots coming through, so um, what I'm going to now go in with is the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer and this stuff I I swear by it for spot treating um, It is really Really good. So I just put a little pearl sized amount on my hand and I just literally kind of go around my face find all the problem areas and Literally just tap it in you do not want to like rub it. Oh, my mom's calling. Hi. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm literally just tapping the concealer. Like, I'm not gonna rub it off my face. This brush is dirty. Okay, so already looking a lot better if you ask me. Um, for the under eyes, I'm just using my Bare Minerals Bare Skin. Uh, this is a new concealer, it's called Complete Coverage Serum Concealer and I don't know how I feel about it yet. I think it might be a little too dewy for my taste, but I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it up because it's a $20 concealer. And you can either use your finger to rub this in or you can use a brush or whatever, a beauty blender, whatever you like. I personally like 
to actually tap it in with a brush like this. It's really soft and gentle. And then I'll sometimes go back with my finger because the warmth of the hand sometimes like melds it into your skin better. So I'm gonna start with this. And definitely like to go down to the to next to the nose with that concealer. Um, it makes you look less like a raccoon when you're done. And again, tapping this and dabbing it in place instead of rubbing it around. The next thing that I'm gonna do, I put this in a favorites post that I did on my blog. It wasn't a video, it's just like a quick post. I needed um, to share these things with you. And the, one of the items is the dim light um, setting powder. Yes, I think that's what I wanted to call it um, by Hourglass Cosmetics. And I have the three palette ambient light, ambient lighting palette. Uh, this one is dim light and I love this one. It's the most matte. Not a hunt, it's not totally matte, but it's just got a really pretty finish. And, I um, and they say to focus this in more on the center of your face, which at first I wasn't really doing because it's it's kind of got a little bit of color and normally you want the, the bronzy shades to be kind of around the outside of your face, but I do like it. So I'm gonna apply it that way today. And what you can do is you can take um, the middle color, which is obviously the lightest one, that one's called Incandescent Light, and you can use that as a highlighter. Okay, now what I'm going to do for the under eyes, as you can see, they're still pretty dewy, so I, I really do like to go back with some concealers that are in powder form. This is the Summer Bisque shade, and I'm going to apply this one first. It's more of a shade that's going to cancel out some of the discoloration under the eye, and I just, I like kind of doing a mix of powder concealers and wet concealers, so I just did a very small amount on this brush, kind of shook it off. And I'm just gonna dab it under here just to mattify a little bit. And then just to highlight a little bit more, I'm going to use my Well Rested, which you know I'm a huge fan of if you watch my videos. And that's a more, that's a brightening concealer. And so I will go in here with that. And out here. Just ever so slightly because again, you don't wanna just cake on the makeup. All right, so I'm not gonna make you sit through watching me do the rest of my makeup. That is my flawless uh, sort of acne covering routine that I've been loving. I hope that you go out and try some of these products. I will make sure to link down below everything that, or at least name down below everything that I use today so you can keep your eye out for it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you are having a spectacular September and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.